So this is our entry level unit, the Datalogic Mimor, and it, it it's a bit more curved for the hand grips. I have loaded up with software so you can see here, I've got the home page on screen, it's got the one button for the scanner, and other than that it's got the digital buttons for everything to be done in the Android software. So here's the hand grip I was talking about before, so it's curved specifically so that it does fit the grooves of your hand, just to help you keep a grip on it. On the side here we've got the charge port, and on the bottom of it, same as the CT40, the higher unit we'll see in a minute, it's got the lanyard groove down the bottom, so you can keep it on you while you're doing your stock counts. It's the entry level unit that we're using for the Dexter devices, and we'll move on to the next one, which is the Honeywell CT40. So today we're going to go through the Honeywell CT40, which is one of the higher end physical hardware pieces that will have Dexter on it. So this was a demonstration unit uh, that came across my desk, so it hasn't got any charge or anything like that in it, but it is good to look at. So. I have gone through the user manual, so I know that it's I know of its weight on the paper, but I was taken back by its physical weight. That did surprise me a little bit. And I know that on the sides we've got the two scan buttons, which are the two buttons with the orange stripe on it, which you can see there and there. I also know on the right hand side next to or above, I should say, the scan button, we've got the power button, which is that button just there. As I said, this unit didn't have any charge, silly me. But on the left hand side we've got the volume button, same as on a phone, down and up. And then on the back I noticed that the camera is still covered in film and that the battery is detachable. So that means that I can slide this across and by rights pull the battery out, as you can see me do. Although we'll plug this back in purely because we don't want to be playing with the demonstration unit. I did notice that there's a spot down here for a lanyard. I assume that would be to tie it to your belt or something for while you're walking around the store doing your scans. And the bottom, of course, is for the dock and for the charge. So we'll get this installed, this software installed on a unit. We'll do a video on that, so please stay tuned.